when the giant earthquake and the giant tsunami hit Japan, you were fortunate enough, let's say, to live in a place that was not totally destroyed. But the nuclear plant in your part of Japan was destroyed. And now you and your family have to decide about how and where you go on living. This week, Japan said the amount of radiation that leaked out of the Fukushima reactors in the first few days of the disaster was about double what they'd said it was at the time. Japan also just admitted within the last couple of weeks that three of the four damaged reactors really did have nuclear meltdowns. Today, Japan said those reactor reactors may have even had melt-throughs. The nuclear fuel melted down, and then it melted through the thing that was holding it. It melted onto the floor of the reactor building. That's sort of steps A, B, and C on the way to the China Syndrome. Remember that awesome Jane Fonda movie from, like, 1979? The China Syndrome is where the nuclear fuel melts down, down to the ground, hotter than Hades, and then it just keeps melting down, down, down through the Earth to God knows where. Now Japan admits it may have suffered a melt-through in three reactors. Very scary. Japan had not admitted any of that before. So if you are a family from Fukushima, from where these reactors are, what do you do now? After the disaster, Japan's government revised safety guidelines to say Fukushima kids could now be exposed at school to 20 times as much radiation as what had been considered okay before the disaster. The New York Times reports that parents in Japan said no way to that, so the government promised to light, tighten up the standards some and to clean up contaminated topsoil at schools. There's no guidelines anywhere in the world for how to handle this. We, it's not just Japan. If this happened in the U.S. or anywhere else in the world, no one would know whether to let people keep living there. How big an area to evacuate? What levels are safe for kids at school or for old people or for women who are pregnant? We've got some guidelines based on nuclear bomb explosions, but for this, no one knows. Fukushima, for example, seems to have dumped most of its radiation into the sea and into the ground. Chernobyl shot its radiation into the atmosphere. What's the difference in the effect on humans and other living things? Dunno, frankly. Really. Don't no. In the context of this sunny little bouquet of news this week from Japan, New Jersey's Republican Governor Chris Christie has looked around, assessed the circumstances, and decided that New Jersey would please like some of that. The governor says he wants a new nuclear power plant built in the state of New Jersey now. He also says he will pull out of a 10-state agreement to reduce carbon emissions because, you know, why not? Meanwhile, in the rest of the world, other people are thinking differently. The nation of Germany gets about the same proportion of its new energy from nuclear power as the U.S. does right now. We both get around 20 percent of our energy from nuclear power. But after Fukushima, because of everything we have just learned about how all thumbs and no ideas we are as humans about nuclear safety, after all we've just learned about how clueless we are at dealing with nuclear disaster, Germany has decided after Fukushima to close all of its nuclear reactors. Over the next decade, they're going to shut shut down all their nuclear plants. They're committed to generating all the power they currently get from nuclear from renewables instead. So Germany will be leading the world on that. Germany's chancellor, the guest of honor at a state dinner in Washington last night. This was the first state dinner President Obama has put on for a European head of state, the fourth one he's given overall. Our president has not said if his own position on nuclear power for our country has changed as a result of all the bad news we have learned at Fukushima. But if he is still down with the idea, maybe he and Angela Merkel can work out a deal to have one of Merkel's old nuclear power plants that isn't safe enough for Germany maybe airlifted over to New Jersey now. My guess is it would be a bargain.